Full point! My name is Mamoru Oshikiri. I was pretty tall for my age, and was also pretty muscular. So, when I was young, I was like the king of the class. Hey, Mamoru. Congratulations on winning! Because I was such an active kid, in order to make me use my strength, my parents put me into a judo class. However, when I started, my natural talent for judo blossomed, and ever since I was a little kid, I had never lost in a judo match. Here, Mamoru. This is the candy that you like. If you'd like, you can eat it later. Oh, thanks. I had a childhood friend that lived in my neighborhood who had a weak body. She was a cute girl that smiled softly like a ray of sunshine in the spring. Because she was weak, a lot of our classmates used to make fun of her. And that's why I always looked after her, and I protected her. I'll hold this to your home. Mamoru, th thanks. Hey, you were being bullied by that guy, Thomas, in Class C today, weren't you? That guy. The next time I see him, I'm going to put it into that. Make sure he never bothers you again. Thank you. If you're ever troubled by anything, you come and tell me. If I say something, most guys will shut up. But even still, I don't get why everybody's always picking on you. Well, I'm always sitting out of my gym class, and I also end up not coming to school a lot of days, so a lot of people don't think too highly of me. Maybe that's why. But if you're not coming because of illness, there's nothing you can do about it. I don't understand their way of thinking at all. Everybody has a heart, and anybody would be sad if they were hurt. And however strong or weak somebody might be has nothing to do with that. Yeah, you're right. I really admire that about you, Mamoru. Sh sure we're right. Haru loved to read books. That's why she was really knowledgeable, and she taught me a lot of things that I didn't know. I also admired Haru. I was good at the things that Haru wasn't good at, and the things that Haru was good at was what I wasn't good at. But everybody has things that they're good at, but more importantly, that's not so that you can laugh at someone when you find a person that is less good at it than you. I believe that it's so that you can help each other out when in need. The reason why I was able to think that way was probably because I watched Haru grow up, who was the complete opposite of me. I enjoyed being together with Haru. However, at the end of our second year of middle school, she was going to move to Tokyo. If she went to Tokyo, apparently there was a hospital there, and she would be able to get better treatment. Mamoru, thank you for everything. Thanks to you, it wasn't so difficult for me to go to school. Take care of your health and be well. For a while, I regretted that I wasn't able to tell her that I liked her until the very end. Sad that I wasn't able to see her kind smile anymore, but I was caught up in my judo practice and studying for high school entrance exams. That before I knew it, I had forgotten about that sadness. Full point! And then, I got into high school. Even after Haru moved, in high school judo, I was also unbeatable. And after that, I was given a sports scholarship and went to college. He's amazing! That guy Oshikiri, he's unbeatable! I feel bad for all the guys that are his age. That guy named Arunami is also pretty strong. But because of Oshikiri, every year he's in second place. <laughs> However, I wasn't unbeatable when I was a sophomore in college. I broke a bone in my knee, and I was no longer able to do judo. To be honest, I was so angry that my mind went completely blank. However, if I couldn't do judo anymore, then I had no choice but to do something else to survive. Welcome! From there, the months and years went by, and I had turned 28 years old. After I left the judo world, after I graduated from college, I got a job at a food and beverage company. Currently, I'm the manager at a high-end barbecue restaurant. Previously, I was the manager at a different store location, but starting this month, I was placed in charge as the manager of the most busy store location. It's almost time for the people from the Aranami company to come. I heard from the previous restaurant manager that they are the big regulars that always come to our restaurant for parties and happy hours. Welcome! Oh? Since when did the restaurant manager change? 
We have a reservation on their name, Aranami. Yes, I'm aware. I'm the new restaurant manager. My name is Oshikiri. I look forward to being at your service. Oshikiri? Wait a minute! Didn't you used to do judo? Yes, I did in the past, but... Interesting. Now I'm gonna have a chat with the restaurant manager. Do you guys go ahead to the table. Hey, Mr. Restaurant Manager. Do you remember me? Uh, um... I'm Jin Aranami. We used to meet a lot at the judo competition finals, didn't we? Oh, ah, Mr. Aranami. It's been a long time. It sure has been a long time. Although I bet you had forgotten about me until this very moment today. I... I'm sorry. It's been a long time since I retired from judo. Although, I've never forgotten about you for a day in my life. What? Just so you know, I am the son of the CEO of Aranami Company, and that's why I'm coming here. If you do something rude, we're never going to use this restaurant ever again. So you better be careful when you're serving us. Y yes sir. I was shocked that the son of the CEO of one of our biggest customer companies was none other than Jin Aranami, who I used to go up against often in judo competition finals. However, what shocked me even more was that Aranami started calling me up by my name, and he would belittle me and harass me during his visits. Look at you! Now that you can't do judo anymore, you become completely useless! <laughs> sure. I bet you couldn't do anything besides judo anyway, could you? And that's why you're stuck here as the restaurant manager of a barbecue place like this. You should have studied more like I did. <laughs> How sad, isn't it? That a guy who had no skills other than judo had judo stolen from him. <laughs> I was still upset to this day about the fact that I wasn't able to practice judo anymore. And that's why it was really painful to be laughed at about it. However, he was a very important regular customer to the restaurant, so all I could do was stay quiet and tolerate it. And then, after that, every single time he would come to our restaurant, he would make fun of me. In order to make fun of me, we were receiving more reservations from Aranami Company, and because of the increase in sales, my boss, who didn't know anything, was complimenting me. But deep down inside, I felt conflicted. Yes, thank you for your continued business. You'd like to have a company party, and would you like to rent out the whole restaurant? Yes, absolutely. And the date is... The 1st of April from 5pm. Yes, thank you very much. Was that a reservation for a private buyout of the restaurant? Yeah. They said that they want to use our restaurant for the Aranami Company's employee party. It'll be 40 people. It'll be a tasting menu, so we need to do a lot of prep for that. Yes, sir. It was a struggle to be belittled by Aranami like that, but it was also the reality that our restaurant sales were being supported by the Aranami company. I can't treat Aranami roughly at all, and I was also grateful for this private party reservation of 40 people. However, on the day, even though it became time for the reservation, not one person from Aranami company showed up. What's going on here? Mr. Aranami won't pick up the phone, and when I called the company, they said they didn't have any plans for a party like that today. A no call, no show? Well, we haven't received any phone calls. We haven't canceled either. But from the beginning, maybe it was a lie, and this was all just to harass us? What? What do we do? It was a reservation for the tasting menu, so we have quite a lot prepared. What do I do? I knew Aranami didn't think very highly of me, but I didn't expect him to do something like this. My mom? What does she want at a time like this? Hello? Oh, Mamoru, are you at work? I'm sorry. She needs something. It's gonna have to wait. It looks like I've been the victim of a customer who made a reservation that is sacking us. And things are a mess. I'm really sorry. 
What? Mamoru! No, but it's not like it's a definite that they're not coming anymore, and... Maybe I can wait a little bit longer. I'll just keep trying to call Mr. Arunami. However, two hours later, I still wasn't able to get through to him. And nobody came to the restaurant. What are we going to do about everything that we prepared? Hmm. Mamoru! If the reservation has been stacked, then would it be okay if we use this place for our company drinks? What? Do I know you? It's me, Haru! Huh? Haru? What? Huh? What's going on here? I came back here for the first time in a while, and I just wanted to see you no matter what, so I went to your house. But then, your mom called you for me, but it seems like you were caught in some big trouble, so I came here to save you. Oh, when she called earlier. You prepared everything already. If it all goes to waste, it's gonna be a big problem, isn't it? When I contacted my dad, he said that he can bring everybody that's left in his company. Would that work? That would be super helpful, but are you sure? Haru suddenly appeared, and she had become so much more of an adult since the last time I saw her when we were in middle school. And she was full of energy and strong. I am still super shocked. Haru, are you healthy now? And also, I didn't know that your father was the CEO. Yeah, when I moved to Tokyo, I received surgery. And by the time I was a college student, I was practically fully healed. That's why I'm super healthy right now. And then, Haru's father, who had gotten the phone call from her, brought all the people from his company. And not only that, but the employees who lived in the neighborhood also invited their families. And the restaurant became completely full. Well, I always had a company over in Tokyo. And over here, we happen to have a branch company. It was a nice area to raise children. So, since Haru was little, we lived over here, and I was going to and from Tokyo. We moved, so normally we are in Tokyo, but we just happened to have business with this branch, and Haru and I came here together. I meant we'd have the opportunity to treat all the employees from this branch. I'm so shocked that my mind can't catch up with what's going on here, but really, you really saved us. Still can't believe that people who would do something so terrible like no call show for a reservation of 40. Seriously, I'll never forgive them. Haru, you become so strong, even though you used to be so timid. What? Oh, is it weird? No, I think it's really great. Th thank you. What is going on here? Where did these customers come from? Hmm? Wasn't that... I found you! What? What the hell is going on that you would sack the reservation like this? There was no phone call, and you refused to answer your phone either. Who knows? <laughs> Did I make a reservation? Where's the proof? You didn't receive a deposit or anything. Because you're a regular customer, we didn't have you fill out a reservation form, nor did we take a deposit. Are you planning on playing dumb? I'm going to tell your company. Nobody's going to believe anything you say anyway. But I believe Mamoru. What? Wait a minute, you are... It's been a long time, Mr. Arunami. I could not have imagined that you would be the person to call no-show for the reservation. I am disappointed. It truly is disappointing when the CEO said is somebody like this. We are going to be canceling our plans to have a meeting with you next week. What? 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 Why is the CEO of Iramichi Company and his daughter here? The restaurant manager here is my very important childhood friend. A company that has somebody in charge that would stack a reservation like this and cause so many trouble to a restaurant with no morals is too scary to do business. We are going to be canceling our business with you. Haru, your father's company had business for Aranami Company? That's right. Although in light of this, it is scary that they may sack our business relationship without any notice. On top of that, they say they don't remember having the conversation, and we certainly can't risk that. 
No! Any business stuff of your company will be done properly! Absolutely not. Anybody that can behave like this normally, you never know when or what might do something. I'm sure he never could imagine that his childish prank was going to result in losing a major business client. Arunami's face was completely pale. However, apparently Haru's father was serious, and he did in fact terminate the business agreement. We would call him Hey to bother you and you group. We no longer have a business. What the hell are you going to do about this? The next day, before closing, Arunami showed up at a restaurant still looking very pale. This is all your fault. You're always getting in my way. You always have been. Because you were the same age, I was never able to win at a single judo competition. And this time as well because of you, my life is ruined. So the reason why you were always coming after me was because you resented me for never being able to win in judo. But even still, Arunami, that's not right. It may be true that I never lost in the judo competition, but it doesn't mean that I had never lost before. I was never able to win against my seniors or my instructors, and then I was no longer able to do judo and my career ended there. I was angry. But what was I going to get out of taking that anger out on somebody else? What's going to come out of dragging it and bringing somebody else down? Judo begins with gratitude and ends with gratitude. There may be winners and losers in a judo match, but you're not doing it to hurt another person. Have you forgotten that if you don't have respect and thoughtfulness towards your opponent, then it doesn't become judo? You are somebody that should have learned gratitude and morals through judo. So you better not blame somebody else when you're the one that caused trouble. Because I know that you weren't practicing judo without true commitment either, were you? I guess I'll never be able to win against you. What you say is exactly right. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Hello? Haru? Mamoru, what's the matter? Hey, listen. Arunami came to the restaurant and he apologized to me. So, if your company wouldn't have a problem with it, would you reconsider doing business with the company? I have a feeling that he'll never do something like this again. Mamoru, I guess you haven't changed. You're still the same nice guy. Alright, I'll talk to my dad about this. Thank you. Also. Yeah? Next time you come back over here, I want to see you. Last time I was running around, I wasn't able to talk to you. But next time I want to properly catch up. I want to hear all about what happened after you moved. Yeah, sure. I also... I want to hear about what you've been up to ever since then. And also... Do you mind if I also talk to you about how I used to have a crush on you when we were kids? And when we were reunited, I realized that I still like you? Uh... Yeah, I really want to hear about that. After that, apparently the Aranami company was able to recover their business partnership with Haru's father's company. Aranami came to thank me and he started coming back to the restaurant with the people from his company again. Of course, he doesn't make fun of me whatsoever anymore. And then, starting next month, apparently Haru was going to be transferred to a branch office in this prefecture. If Haru starts living over here, then she and I will be able to see each other a lot more often. And then... I'll finally be able to tell her everything that I couldn't on that day. I have a feeling that this spring is going to be the best one yet. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.